Hi, this is the CADCAM Lessons channel. In this video, using a similar example, I will show you several interesting ways to do 3D modeling in FreeCAD. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. And now we will move on to FreeCAD and I will show you a few interesting things related to 3D modeling in FreeCAD. Let's start a new project as a parametric part. I'll close this project. OK, and we will start by creating a sketch on the XZ plane. And here we will draw two circles whose centers will lie at the origin point of the coordinate system. Select the circle drawing tool, place the center of the circle at this point and for the diameter of the circle enter 100 mm. And draw a second circle with a diameter of 80 mm. Now we will draw two lines. Select the line drawing tool and draw the lines in such a way that the first point of the line lies on this circle and the second point of the line lies on this circle. Then draw the second line in a similar way. The first point on this circle, the second point on this circle and right click to cancel the line drawing command. And this line should be a vertical line. Here a constraint was automatically applied that specifies that this line is vertical and this line should be a horizontal line. However, in this case the constraint was not applied. Therefore, we select this line and choose the constraint horizontal vertical. Here the constraint that was closest was automatically applied. In this case, the constraint specifying that this line is horizontal. Now I would like this line to lie on the x-axis and we can do this easily. I select this point, select this point and apply here the constraint that specifies that these two points lie in a horizontal line. This is the horizontal constraint so I press the H key on the keyboard. In this case I would like this line to lie on the y-axis and we will do it like this. I select this point, select this point and apply here the vertical constraint. That is, I press the V key on the keyboard and the constraint was applied that placed these two points on a vertical line. Now we will trim the parts of the circles. We will do this using the trim edge command. We select this command and trim the circle from this side and trim this circle from this side. And we have such a sketch. Now we close this sketch and based on this sketch we create a solid by revolving the sketch around a specified axis. We select the revolution command and create a solid by revolving the sketch around the vertical axis of the sketch. And click OK. In this way we have created such a solid. Now we will create more parts of this solid, but for this we will use a construction plane and to create such a construction plane precisely we will use auxiliary geometry and such auxiliary geometry will be a sketch. Select create sketch and create a sketch on the XZ plane. Here switch to section view so that the solid doesn't obstruct the sketch and draw a line whose first point will lie at the origin point of the coordinate system. For the length of the line enter 70 mm and here specify the angle at which this line will be created. In relation to the x-axis enter 45 degrees here and press enter and OK. We have an auxiliary line. We close the sketch and now, based on this line, we will create a construction plane in such a way that the construction plane is created at this point and is perpendicular to this line. To do this, while holding Ctrl key, select this point and select this line and choose the create a datum plane command. Here as you can see the plane was created in such a way, but we have the normal to edge option. And now the plane was created so that it is placed at this point and is perpendicular to this line. 
and we click OK to confirm this. And now on this plane we will create a sketch and to do this we select this plane and choose create sketch. And here as you can see the sketch is created as if from the bottom of this plane. It doesn't bother me at all. We can simply turn on the view section option. And now the solid doesn't block our view, but we can also do something else. Here I will delete this sketch. I will go to edit the construction plane. And we have here an option called flip side. I click OK and now when I select the plane and choose to create a sketch, the sketch is set in such a way that the solid is behind this sketch plane. And here we can create some geometry. For example, we will create a circle whose center will lie at this point. Hover over this point and when the point is highlighted, click the left mouse button and create here a circle with a diameter of 40 millimeters. OK, close the sketch and now based on this sketch, we will create a solid by extruding the sketch. Here select the path operation and here I would like to create an extrusion to this face of the solid. And here we could specify the appropriate extrusion length. However, as you can see, when I increase the length, nothing happens. Therefore, in this case, we have to check the reversed option, but note how it looks from this side. It is difficult to make such an extrusion so that it ends exactly at this face. Therefore, in this case, it is worth using the extrusion type option. And here we have, for example, the two first type. And now the extrusion will be made to the first encountered feature, which in this case will be this face. So the extrusion will be made to this face. We click OK and in this way we have created another part of this solid. Now I select the construction plane, press spacebar to turn off the visibility of this plane and I do the same with this sketch. I select this sketch in the feature list and press spacebar to turn off the sketch visibility. Now if we want to create another sketch we can use a solid face as a sketch plane. We select the face and choose create sketch. And now this face is the sketch plane and here we will create another circle. This time a circle with a diameter of 20 millimeters. We close the sketch and based on this circle we will create a pocket. We choose the pocket operation and here we set the pocket depth. And just like in the extrusion case we can use the appropriate pocket type. And here we can also choose to first so that the pocket is made to the first encountered feature. And in this case, the first feature is this face and the pocket was made to this face. Click OK and in this way, with just a few simple steps, we have created such a solid. Here we can also use, for example, the mirror operation and we can mirror these two features to the other side. And to do this, while holding Ctrl key in the feature tree, select the two features you want to copy and choose the mirror operation. And here we specify the mirror plane. In this case, we will use the coordinate system's YZ plane. Select the base YZ plane here. And on this side, this element was mirrored. Just note that if you have the transform body option checked, the mirror will not be executed correctly. Therefore, here we select transform tool shapes and the mirror is done. The features have been copied and click OK. And in this way, with just a few simple steps, we have created something like this. Of course, this part is just an example. Here, with a simple example, I want to show you selected FreeCAD tools. We can continue working on this model, we can create more features. For example, we will create another sketch on this face, select this face, choose create sketch and here we will draw, for example, two circles. The first circle with a diameter of 20 mm, the second circle in the same point with a diameter of 45 mm. And now we will create a third circle of a diameter so that the center of this circle lies at this point. 
Next, choose the create external geometry command so as to create reference geometry based on this edge. Now select this circle, select the reference geometry and choose the equality constraint so that the diameter of this circle equals the diameter of the reference geometry. And here we will create two lines so that the start of the line lies on this circle and the end of the line lies on this circle and we do the same on the other side. When this circle is highlighted, click here with the left mouse button and then when this circle is highlighted, click here with the left mouse button. Then right click to cancel the line drawing command and now we will add here the tangency constraint between the line and the circle. Select the line, select the circle and choose the tangency constraint. Here we have information that a tangency constraint between the line's endpoint and the edge has been applied. This is just information, click OK and we do the same on this side. Select the line, select the circle, choose the tangency constraint and here also click OK. Now let's add the distance of this point from the origin point. So we select this point, press D, drag the cursor this way and here enter 75 millimeters as the dimension value. Right click to cancel the dimensioning command and we trim the geometry parts. We trim this part of the circle and here an error appeared and the part of the circle was not trimmed to this line but I will try to trim it again. I click here again and now the sketch looks correct. And we trim this part of the circle and everything is fine here. We close the sketch and based on this sketch we will create an extrusion. We select the path operation and here we create an extrusion in the opposite direction. So I check the reversed option and add an extrusion of 10 millimeters and click OK. And we will also mirror this operation. I select this feature and choose the mirror operation. And here as the mirror plane, I select the base XZ plane and click OK. And as you can see, in this way, step by step, we can build a 3D model. Let's add a few more fillets here. I will switch to wireframe view and add fillets to these edges. Holding Ctrl key I select these edges and I will also select these edges. I switch to the Aziz view and here let's add a fillet with a radius of 5 mm and click OK. Now let's add the fillet to these edges. Here as you can see not the entire edges are selected but holding control I select these two edge segments. I choose the fillet operation and here in this case the fillet was added to the entire edge. And ok, in this way step by step we can build 3D models in FreeCAD. We will finish here, thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.